We're in the lab with Lonnie to look at the reaction of alkali metals with water. Alkali metals react with water by ionizing, losing an electron. Those electrons that are lost are accepted by water, and the water releases hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is reduced. The reduction of hydrogen to form hydrogen gas releases energy, while the ionization of the metal, as we know, absorbs energy. In this case, you can see the reaction of lithium with water is relatively mild. That means the release of energy in the reduction and the absorption of energy in the ionization are about the same magnitude. Now we can also look at other metals. Sodium metal, for instance, one step down the periodic table from lithium, has a lower ionization energy. So less energy will be absorbed in this case, but the reduction of hydrogen on water to form hydrogen gas releases the same amount. So absorbing less, but releasing about the same amount, means overall more energy is released. And indeed you see a slightly more vigorous reaction for sodium metal with water. Now, what about potassium? That's even lower ionization energy, and we expect more energy to be released overall. Here's potassium metal. Here it is in slow motion. You can see a very vigorous reaction with potassium metal. That's because Potassium, the lowest ionization energy so far in our series, requires the least amount of energy to ionize, but again, that same amount of energy is being released when water is reduced to hydrogen gas. Now here's rubidium metal. And you can see rubidium, which has the lowest ionization energy, releases the most energy in the sequence.